We're going to start the day off with 2015 Bowman Draft Baseball Hobby. Six box break number 18 for eBay. There it is on the screen in case you, you, in case you, you guys want to read. I know how much you guys like reading. How about the playoffs, though? That's the la last time I was live was Sunday, I believe. Yeah, it was Sunday. Uh, how about that Eagles-Bears game, huh? <laughs> Where are the Bears fans? I told you. I told you. Fly, Eagles, fly. How about them Chargers? I told you there, too. It's been it's been interesting. Uh, Kegel's cards. That is a question that I cannot answer because everything I hit is nice. Everything I hit is nice. Kigo, you you know you're better off following our Instagram page or our Twitter page. Or even now our Reddit page. So you can see for yourself, my man. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, it's all at Rip City Cards. So go ahead and take a gander at that. If you really want to see uh what we've done. Recently though, probably the biggest hit I've had would probably be that 101 Albies Acuna. That Super Fractor was pretty sweet. I hit an Aaron Rodgers 101 like a week ago. I hit a Luka Doncic to 10 out of Contenders Basketball like two weeks ago. You know, it's, it's it's too much to follow, Kigo. It's too much to follow. What up, DC? It must be a new year because I haven't seen you in forever, man. How the heck are you? Yeah, watching that Bears game at the end was uh, was rough. You know, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Yeah, I knew the Bears were going to lose as soon as I saw who their kicker was. Cody Parker uh, used to be a former Dolphin. So the fact that he was a former Dolphin told me everything I needed to know. Oh, nice, DC. Congratulations, man. You had a... Did you have a boy or a girl? Matter of fact, is this... Yeah, I knew that was going to be out of... Uh, out of focus. So let me change that. You had yourself a beautiful little baby girl? That's awesome, D. Oh, and it's your first two? Congratulations, my dude. I will say this. I don't have any kids, but if I ever have a kid and I have a girl, I would probably not be too happy because then I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta look after my little baby girl. She can't leave my house until she's like fifty. She's not allowed to date until she's a hundred years old. You know, I would just be way, way too overprotective if I have a little baby girl. Now, there, somebody told me this a while ago. Like, if I had a boy, I only got to worry about one penis. But if I have a girl, I got to worry about billions of penises. And I'd rather not do that. And with my history with women, I would not be surprised if I have, like, five straight girls. <laughs> Anyways, Blob. Uh, what do I think about my boy, Adam Gase? I think that uh, good for him. Yeah, I don't like that he went to a division rival, but good for him. You know, he, he's got a job, so hey, whatever. I'm more so concerned with the Dolphins. What are we doing? You know, I heard that we're uh, we're even trying to offer two first round picks so that we could get John Harbaugh, the uh, Ravens head coach, which would be awesome. I would love to have John Harbaugh as the coach, but giving up two first round picks. Like, two first-round picks for this year and next year? Or, like, how does that work? Or, like, previous first-round picks? Because he can have Devontae Parker and Charles Harris, no problem. I'll give up those two former first-round picks, no problem. I'll even do his taxes 
for 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 a year or two. If that's the case. You know what I'm saying, DC? That that that's all. It, it's, there's nothing wrong with having a girl. Truth be told, if I had a girl, I would spoil the ever loving. I would just spoil her to death. But yeah, considering my track record with some of the ladies, yeah, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want, <laughs> I don't know if I want those problems, man. Either way, though, DC, that's awesome, man. Congratulations, my dude. I I know that you have plenty of uh, of weaponry in your arsenal. Uh, you know, to take care of the little baby girl. All right, let's see what we got here. I haven't done Bowman Draft in a while. Well, specifically 2015. In a while. There's an autograph for Connor Biggio. Right there. Not uh, not numbered. So, DC, who am I looking for in this? Because my, my baseball is terrible. I do plan to watch the entire season coming up, which I have never done in my life. But I definitely need to start learning baseball, so I figured why not now. Uh, ben Attendees in this thing. Ian Happ. Walker Bueller. Okay, okay. I know all three of those names. You know, one thing about doing this... Uh, gig is you see enough cards that after a while you, it just becomes you know second nature if you will what watching baseball DC I just I, I, I just gotta learn it man Jordy Lara of the Mariners to 150 you know, especially in this room, you know, we do a lot of Bowman. We do a lot of baseball in this room. So I kind of just get by with personality and gumption. But if I could add knowledge to that, oh boy, forget about it. Now, that's another thing. I know a lot of people uh, are super, super into prospecting and stuff like that. That is that is next level stuff right there. Well, we had Bowman a few nights ago, DC, on Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, I guess Jason straight broke through all that stuff. absolutely crushed the Bowman we had got uh, four cases of Bowman uh, jumbo and Jason just demolished it all on Monday how about them Eagles Joe Pa man I, where where is my resident Bears fan where's Kean's dad when you need him I know I know he's not gonna come around for a while <laughs> cuz he knows I'm gonna talk shit Well, DC, that's that's something that me and Jason have been talking about. We would like to get Bowman, if possible, all year long. Looking into get looking into getting prior Bowman, you know, because Bowman in this room just does really well. Exactly, Bowman always seems to break so. Well, Joe Pa, like I said, man, Chargers, Eagles, Super Bowl. That was my pick. That was our pick. Chargers, I think, are going to do damage in Foxborough. I think they're going to win. Eagles, though, got a tough one. I think the Eagles play the Saints, I think. What's up, Migs? Kian's dad, that's right. Where is Kian's dad? He's probably hibernating until next uh, football season. Now
not much, Migs. Just doing a little Bowman draft here for the eBay folks. How about you, my dude? Aaron has Patriots, Rams in the Super Bowl. Nah. Neither of those teams are going to win a game this postseason. Actually, the Rams will. Uh, who do the Rams play? I think the Rams... Who do the, who do the Rams play? I don't even know. Oh, no, Blob. The game was not all the kickers' fault at all. You know, unfortunately, that's what everybody's going to remember. Uh, there were lots of plays, you know, there. But, you know, it kind of was the kicker's fault. I mean, I think, I think they said that it got blocked or something like that. Either way, for it to come down to a field goal, that's, that's rough. It's Cowboys Rams. That's that's who's playing. I'm um, breaking what DC. I'm um, breaking the Bowman. Gotcha. I think I can. Can you shoot me? I'm pretty sure you have still have my number. Can you shoot me a text? That way I know who you are. Because I'll be honest, I got a bunch of numbers there, unsaved. And I'm pretty sure I have yours there. I'm just too lazy to go through the messages and try to figure out who's who. Appreciate you helping uh, my lazy ass out, DC. Tanner Rainey, Reds autograph. No numbers there, but it's an autograph none the least uh, for the Reds. I wish that was the case, uh, Migs. I, I used to. I ain't gonna lie. And then I kind of just... I don't know. This year, I'm, I'm not on that. I'm trying to get my paper stacks right. And uh, one thing about the ladies is... Uh, they just seem to suck the life... Whoa, whoa. They suck the life out of you. And for some reason, they just, you know... They attack your paper stacks as well. I don't understand it. If it's Rams Dallas, oof. If dude, honestly, the Rams might lose. The way the Rams have been playing lately, especially Jared Goff, he hasn't been playing really very well uh, the last few weeks. And now we have the whole rust versus uh, rest uh, situation going on. Dallas has been on fire the last few weeks, the the last two months, I want to say. Whereas the Rams, they've been kind of trending downward, so. I don't know. I, it would not surprise me at all if the Rams lost. Especially the way the Cowboys defense has been playing. Zeke has been balling. Dak Prescott taking care of the ball. And just overall, the Dallas defense has been playing very, very well. I don't trust the Rams. I don't know. I don't trust the Rams. What you got here, DC? What's up, Jersey G-Man? You got that, ooh, that Nolan Gorman. I know Nolan Gorman. One of the bigger names in the uh, in, in this 2018 Bowman situation. And you got a 5 of 5 red. That's nice. That is nice. You think they're going to destroy Dallas? I think it'll be a closer game than we think. Uh, but I do think the Patriots are going to lose uh, this weekend, Aaron. I don't know if they've ever lost at Foxborough after a bye. And another one is Phillip Rivers has never beaten Tom Brady in the playoffs. But you know what they say. It's a first time for everything. All right, so here we have Monte Harrison. 26 of 50 for the Brew Crew. All right, that is two boxes down. I don't know about the Bucks, Migs. I, I, I like the Bucks as a regular season team. They're definitely a fun team to watch and a fun team to play with on NBA 2K. Uh, I just think they're missing a piece. 
You know, they, they don't have another player there that it's... That it, if you look at NBA history, just about every single team that's won the championship has either been a two or a three-headed monster. What I mean by that is you have at least two or three scoring options that are all-star caliber players. I don't think the Bucks have a shot because Giannis is the only all-star on that team. Um, I like the Sixers better, even though they're going through some drama. I like the Celtics better, and you know I'm gonna put. I'm gonna, I got. I gotta do what I gotta do. What I gotta do. I gotta put my Heat up there too. When healthy, I think the Heat are a very dangerous team. Are they going to make it to the finals? No. But I think we could surprise some people in a seven-game in a seven uh, game series. Listen, man. Brogdon, former Rookie of the Year, not impressed. If anything, Chris Middleton. You should have thrown Chris Middleton out there because that guy's been balling. I'll sleep on Eric Bledsoe, though. Whoa, Aaron, you are crazy. The 2005 Pistons had, like, at least five. Are you kidding me? Chauncey Billups, Richard Hamilton, Tayshaun Prince, Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace. Are you kidding me? I don't know about the Bucks though. The Bucks to me, I, I just I don't know. They, they don't. Mainly, mainly I want to say is Giannis's fault, because Giannis still doesn't have a jump shot. All all his stuff is driving to the lane. When he can when he can get a consistent mid range jumper, then he's gonna be unstoppable. But you know, not 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 just no. Aaron, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Ben Wallace, one of the greatest defensive players of all time. Not a superstar? Rasheed Wallace, no, that's what I'm saying, all-stars. That's what I was saying. I said all-stars, not superstars. I would rather have five all-stars than one superstar any day of the week. Giannis MVP right now. Yeah. When Giannis can, you know, make it to the second round, which I don't think he's ever done, then talk to me. How about that? Ooh, nice. Andrew Benintendi. Bowman Scout autograph. Very nice. 99. Mm. That fits in there nice. Very nice hit right there to 99. Now Giannis definitely needs a jump shot. Definitely needs a jump shot. Like badly. The Miami Heat played the Bucks earlier this year, and we shut that down. We shut that down, and the Heat suck. We're a good team defensively, but we have no business shutting Giannis down. You just got to play really good team defense against Giannis and force him to shoot the jumper because he can't make him. I don't know, man. I, I like Giannis, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say he is slightly overrated. Until he can win a playoff series, I don't want to hear it. Oh, yeah, Migs? Well, since you want to throw records out there, you remember a few years ago the Hawks had the best record in the NBA? And what did they do? 
Hell, maybe you don't remember that. Remember last year, the Toronto Raptors had the best record, I think, of like the entire NBA. What did that do? What did they do? Antonio Santillan to two fifty Reds. And you're probably right, though. The MVP might go to Giannis because that's how they vote. They usually give it to the best player on the best team, and the best team is usually the best record. Kuzma put up 41, I think, last night in three quarters. Pretty good. You know, I think LeBron is uh, not as hurt as we think he is. I think what he tried to do was sit out a, couple, a week or two so that the younger players could ball out, thus increasing their trade value. But I think the Lakers are like 2-8 and eight or something like that since he's been out of the lineup. So, if anything, it's hurt the younger players' trade value. <laughs> I will say this, though. The Lakers definitely surprised me. I didn't think the Lakers were going to be as good as they were. I even went as far as to say that I didn't think the Lakers were going to make the playoffs. Uh, but this year has been very, very weird. So, Migs, you would say that Giannis is your favorite player in the NBA? I kind of agree, Aaron. I think they need to trade Lonzo. I think they need to trade Lonzo. What you can get for him, I have no idea. But there are lots of teams that could use his talents. I still think Alonzo could be a really good player. Hell, even all-star caliber. Just gotta he's he just needs time to develop his game. He's like 19, 20 years old. You know, with these younger players, man, you, you guys gotta give them time. You gotta consider that a lot of these kids coming into the league are one and done. You know what I mean? They 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 come into the league 19, 20 years old, can't even order beer. What up, Marcus? So it's not like it's not like back in the day where you get a player out of college who's been three, four years in a system. You know, they got the grown man body. They're in a different, you know, state of mind. You know, they're 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 somewhat complete basketball players. As opposed to being one and done, where all you have going for you is potential and athleticism. But you don't know how to play the game, so to speak. So with a lot of these younger players, man, you really got to give them time. There's a reason why Kyle Kuzma is as good as he is right now. Because he played, I want to say he played three, four years in, in Utah. So there's a reason why he's so good so early in his NBA career. Migs, I'm not going to lie to you. No idea who that is. I'm more so. I'm more so paying attention to uh, Zion, man. I really, I really hope he stays back. At least one more season with Coach K. Oh man, Zion Williamson, I think is gonna be LeBron 2.0 in the sense of just being a freak of nature. We have Andrew Suarez of the Giants autograph. Right there. I think it's a carrot. I, th I think you don't know how to listen. I have been giving nothing but praise to Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is a baller. That's what I'm saying. There's a reason why he's so good as he is, you know, that he, as he is right now. Because he played four years college ball. 
Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He, that's why he's so good. If Kyle Kuzma came into the league at 19 years old, he probably wouldn't even got on a roster. Okay, I'm exaggerating there, but definitely better by staying back in college. Andrew Sopko of uh, the Dodgers to 499. How is that hating? I think it's a carrot. I think you don't know how to listen for real, man. You're misconstruing what I'm saying. What I said was, he is so good right now because he stayed in college. Had he came out in like a year after, you know, playing college ball, I don't think he would have been as good compared to, you know, the fact that he did stay in college for all those years. Well, Luka Doncic is a different story. Luka Doncic is a freak of nature. Luka Doncic, that's a, that you know, for him, you got to put a little asterisk because even though he didn't play college ball, the kid was playing professional basketball since he was like 15 against grown men. Jason Tatum, exception to the rule. You know, there, there aren't many players that can play a year in college and then hit the pros, you know, the ground running. And then you gotta you gotta give these boys time to develop in the NBA. And yes, Giannis is slightly overrated. That's that's my personal opinion. If you can't shoot the ball, you're not MVP contender. Period. Giannis overrated, man. Overrated. That's a, that's sad. I think it's a carrot. The fact that MVP has to do with team wins. This I said that earlier. Yes, that is a fact. That is a fact. Does it mean that it's right? Not necessarily. Uh, the last autograph was Andrew Suarez, T-Couch. I always do a recap at the end of the video in case you miss anything. I don't know, man. Giannis, to me, is overrated. What has it? What have his teams done? I don't think he's won a playoff series yet. Bucks have no chance at making the finals. They're not better than the Celtics. They're not better than the Sixers. They're slightly better than the Heat. Oh, Budenholzer. That's the coach for the Hawks all those years ago that won like 60-something games and got eliminated in like the first or second round. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Skeet, I think somebody answered that question. We random the Mavericks. So if you buy a team in the break, you could win the Mavericks. It's all random. Oh, dude, Bodenholzer is great. He's a great coach. But listen, man. What has Giannis done in the league? Let's be honest. He's a freak of nature, yes. He can get to the basket whenever he wants, yes. He probably has the most potential in the entire NBA, yes. But what has he done? Has he won a playoff series? No. Oh, that's right. The Pacers are another really good team. Yeah, I, I agree, Mix. I agree. I agree. What Buds did with Hawks, if you deny you are ignorant. Oh, you mean the fact that they won 60-something games and then didn't even make it to the conference final? Yeah, I guess I am ignorant. All right, box five, what we got? 
So again, when's when's the last time the Bucks won a playoff series? I I forget. I would definitely put Anthony Davis higher than Giannis. Woo! Not even close. Dude, people people are like, I don't know what it is. Don't get me wrong, Giannis is a great player. Amazing player. But to I, I don't know, man. Bo Burrows of the Tigers to 99. I agree. I think Davis is in a in a different league compared to Giannis. So again, so remind me when the last time the Bucks won a playoff series? I forget. I forget. Maybe I should ask Siri. Hey Siri. When's the last time the Milwaukee Bucks won a playoff series? The Bucks played the Rockets yesterday at 8 p.m. Oh, that's cute. No, thank you, Siri. That was not help. That was not, not, not that was not helpful. Oh, Giannis is the truth. Don't get me wrong. I'm telling you, when he gets a mid-range jumper, the kid's unstoppable. The kid is unstoppable once he gets a mid-range jumper. But to say he doesn't need one, uh, why not? Why not add more dimensions to your game? Drew Finley, Yankees autograph. What I will say about Giannis, I, I love the fact that he's so competitive that he doesn't want to train with like any of the superstars during the offseason. I love that. I love that. What's up, Marcello? An article comparing Zion on Blake Griffin. Ooh, that's... Now that you mention it. I haven't read the article. But I hope that's not true. Not for... I mean, listen. Blake Griffin, great player. But hopefully Zion can be way better than him. The 2000-2001 was the last time the Bucks won a series. <laughs> ah, but yet yeah, Giannis is the MVP. Okay. J.B. Crawford, the Phillies, 250. Appreciate you, Brett. I appreciate you Googling that for me. You know, it, it's nice to be right. How are you an MVP contender, but your team can't even win a playoff series? That is just... I, I don't understand. But yet people make the argument, oh, MVP goes to the best player on the best team with the best record. Which the Bucks probably haven't had since Ray Allen wore a Bucks uniform. As you said, in 2001. So that, that is... <laughs> Don't you just love stats? What's up, uh, Stephen H? The last time Bucks were good, Lou Alcindor played for them. Ooh. Back with the, the big O Lou Alcindor, a.k.a. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So it's been almost two decades, and the Bucks have yet to win a playoff game. Huh. In that same time period, my Miami Heat have managed to win three NBA championships. Interesting. Interesting. How are you, Davey Moe? To this day, I still I still want I still want a Jesus Shuttlesworth jersey. Uh, yeah, Jordan was playing for the Wizards, I think, at the time. I think, if I'm not mistaken, oh, 2002, 2003 was the was when Jordan retired as a Wizard for the last time. I think the last All-Star game he was in was in 2002.
Oh, what happened to I think it's a carrot? Oh. Oh, what happened there? Kemba Walker MVP. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody's MVP caliber nowadays, right? Not for nothing, though. Kemba has been balling. Kemba has been balling. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. This is the last box. Good luck, peeps. Let's see what we got here. To 489, Alex Jackson, Mariners. One on one, MJ and LeBron, dude. I've been I've been listening to that debate for for a while now. Did you guys hear about LeBron saying uh, he was the greatest of all time after he beat the the Warriors, uh, giving the 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 Cavaliers their first title in like 50 something years? Anybody see that? Man, listen, LeBron, a great player, but he will never, ever, 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 ever get even remotely close to being the greatest of all time. In their primes, Michael Jordan would run circles around LeBron. And last but not least, Austin Riley Braves autograph. I would, I would, dude, I would put Kobe all over, over LeBron too. In a one-on-one, -on -one, MJ over LeBron all day. Hell, I would, dude, I would put Tracy McGrady over LeBron in a one-on-one -on -one situation. I would put D Wade over LeBron in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But I'm talking at their primes, you know. People people disrespect D Wade, but let's not forget that he put up one of the greatest final performances since the man himself, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. We got here Nelson Rodriguez of the Indians to ninety nine. Whether if whether uh, I'll even I'll, I'll give ninety. I'll put I'll put ninety's rules there. So you can hand check and all that good stuff. I would still give it to LeBron. I would still give it to, to Michael. I would still give it to Michael. Le you know, we just, we got to come to terms with the fact that LeBron is just not that kind of player. LeBron doesn't have that killer instinct. LeBron, LeBron had to go to Miami, play with D-Wade for a couple years so that he could learn how to be a champion. That's not how that works. You either you either have it or you don't. Michael Jordan didn't go somewhere else to learn how to be a champion. Kobe Bryant didn't go somewhere else to learn how to be a champion. D. Wade didn't go somewhere else to be a champion. No. They had it in them. LeBron is just probably the greatest overall player in NBA history. Like, LeBron can do anything on the basketball court. He just, he doesn't have that killer instinct. All right, and that's going to do it for the break. All right. LeBron had nobody in Cleveland, though. Uh, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, no. No, no, no love to them boys. All right, what do we have here? We got Nelson Rodriguez Indians ninety nine, Alex Jackson Mariners four ninety nine, JP Crawford Phillies two fifty, Bo Burrows Tigers ninety nine, Andrew Subco Dodgers four ninety nine, Antonio Santillana the Reds two fifty, uh, Jordi Lara Mariners to one fifty, and Monte Harrison to fifty for the Brew Crew. All right, autographs here. 
we have Austin Riley Braves, Drew Finley Yankees, Andrew Suarez Giants, Tanner Rainey Reds, Connor Biggio Astros, and Andrew Benintendi of the Red Sox, 61 and 99. Very nice. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it out.